everybody. Is it working? Okay, we're all here. Sorry, this is kind of surreal for me to be here talking with all of these amazing technologists. Uh, I want to start by just saying I'm excited to be here with the future of technology. Uh, as I was introduced, my name is Dom, and I have the honor of representing the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy. And today, we celebrate the know-how, follow-through, and heart that you all put into your applications. Uh, the Biden-Harris administration has been clear about the power of mobile applications to revolutionize the way we work, the way we play, and the way that we connect. Today's event is a perfect example of the power of these applications. Uh, as I walked around earlier today and uh, looked at your, your videos, which I thought making the videos must have been pretty fun too, uh, I couldn't help but be in awe of the challenges that you all tackled. Uh, I saw apps that help people learn about about and manage their health, uh, like MyRx, I think was someone's app, uh, Sit Straight, which every time I read on my paper, I'm like trying to get my, my back right, uh, Parkinsense, uh, and also Fast UC. Shout out to Isha, who I got to speak with earlier today. I'm not sure if you, hi. Really neat app. Uh, you all created apps that help fellow students learn math, science, the stock market, and other things not taught in school. There was an app called Flourish that I thought was a really neat idea, uh, and Math Tree. Uh, you educated your users about climate change and environmental issues. You incentivized them to make more sustainable choices with apps like Seal of Approval, best name. Is that person here? Okay, I'm, I'm going to let it go, but that was a great name. Uh, Clima and Plant This. Uh, and you also built apps uh, like Progress and Congress that strengthen democracy by making it easy for people to understand the bills that their representatives interact with. I especially appreciated the practical apps uh, you made to help your peers make college plans, to plan their schedules, to keep their passwords. Uh, there were even apps like Mental Matter that helped normalize conversations around mental health and well-being and supported people having a difficult time. Technologists, you guys have so much heart. And I, I feel uh, a lot like Danny was saying, like, hey, this is my, this is my tribe. Uh, but I couldn't help but hear that theme of service uh, in your motivations and in your interests. And it got me super excited uh, because those are the type of people I get to work with every day uh, in the federal government. Uh, I've spent my entire career as a civil servant uh, by show of hands, who used data for their app? Anyone put data into their applications? Okay, got a, got a good number of those. Uh, as was mentioned, I come from the U.S. Census Bureau. I started my career there, uh, which is the basis, the data we collect at the Census Bureau is the basis of almost all data in America. It's a, we like to say it's like the spine, the vertebrae of data, because the geographic and demographic business data that we collect uh, helps to get that information available uh, for apps like yours. Uh, so that's just one really neat way that I've gotten to serve uh, the community. I also served as a data scientist at the Department of Labor, where I worked to make the mining industry safer. So we would use data from uh, accidents and injuries to determine the best way uh, to make policies that make mining safer. Um, and today, I have the honor, the privilege, it's really awesome to work for the White House for the chief data scientist uh, of the United States. Uh, I love working for an Otis. It's, it's really cool, a dream I could have never had. Uh, but the neatest thing about this job is that it's focused on making sure that students like you thrive. My, my entire job is to, is to try and get future technologists to join me in federal service and make America uh, serve all its people. And so I know many of you are just months away from graduation. Is that true? I, okay. I wrote that before I actually knew it, but it seemed like a good thing to say. And some of you have a little more school to enjoy. Am I right? Yeah, enjoy. Okay. Uh, before you graduate. Either way, you're going to have some big decisions ahead of you. Uh, you're going to ask yourself if college is the right decision. Uh, if it is, you're going to ask what college is right for you, uh, what major you're going to take, what, what college you want to go to, and what career you want to pursue. And as you navigate those questions, I want to remind you to use the heart that you put into the applications that you built to help decide uh, what's next for you. 
Uh, I found that having a personal connection to the things that you aim to achieve can make your achievements all the more rewarding. Uh, and there are near infinite ways that you can put your passion and know how to work for your community by working in the government. And I encourage you to consider the overlap of your interests when you think about your career and future. Um, so if you care about the environment and you love writing, then the Council on Environmental Quality has jobs focused on spreading awareness about sustainability. If you enjoy the intersections of art and technology, the National Smithsonian Institute has jobs focused on cultivating technology forward exhibits for young people. If you enjoy data and connecting with people, the Census Bureau has jobs helping to survey and assess the impact of public policy on the American people. If you love football and health science, the National Institute for Health has jobs focused on making sports safer. You don't have to wait until after college to get started. The federal government internship program uh, has opportunities for high school students across the United States. You can find them, oh, okay, I, f I always forget. This is my little like spiel. So you, you can find them at usajobs.com if anyone has their phone out, uh, and you can search internships. Uh, today, I saw opportunities at the Library of Congress helping them with archiving uh, an inclusive history of America. There are also high school internship available at uh, the Veteran Health Administration and National Institute of Health and also the Department of Interior. Uh, government internship opportunities expand through college and more programs become available as you graduate. Um, the mission of government, guys, it touches every life in America and the scale is so big that the opportunities are boundless. And frankly, we need you. We need your creativity, we need your innovation, we need your personality, we need your character. Uh, just to ensure a representative government that serves us all. So at an event last December, President Biden said, we can channel the full talent of our people into a greater measure of hope and opportunity for our nation and for the world. Getting to know you today, to see your apps online and in person, uh, I believe we're on the course of channeling the full talent of the next generation of technologists. So as you wrap up your time here in DC, I wanna challenge you all to ask one person that works here about their journey to service. And I think you're gonna find that the path is rarely straight, but it's always full of heart. And so with that, I wanna say congratulations and job well done. And I can't wait to work with you one day. Thank you so much.